Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name's Will and this is the Wimmy YouTube channel. If you're new here, before we get into today's video, guys, do me a massive favor. Stop what you're doing, scroll down below, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It's totally free for you guys to subscribe and what it does is it sends you just a quick notification every time I'm posting some new content out there. But what it really does is it helps me grow on the platform and please the whole YouTube algorithm. My analytics showed that like 95% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So come on guys, just do me a solid, scroll down below, hit that subscribe button, uh, help me out by growing on the platform. So with that sales pitch done, let's get into today's video. So today, once again, we're gonna be talking about that uh, thick girl back there. That's my 2021 Ram TRX. Just thought I'd do a quick overview video, just kind of highlighting all the mods and um, accessories and installs I've done on the Ram in the past, you know, almost three years that I've had this thing. Um, I've done quite a few things, mainly on the interior lately. So I've been getting a lot of questions on where I can buy these stuff and how much it is and you know, how hard the install is. So I figured just go ahead, make a video just highlighting everything. We're gonna start with the exterior, then we'll jump onto the interior and then we'll finish it up with a few performance stuff that I've um, installed. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting, you know, where you can buy this stuff. I'm gonna have links in the descriptions for everything that you see on this video. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you probably realize or, rec or you know, see, I got the Methods NV305s on there with the bronze. I uh, graduated from the University of Central Florida. Their colors are black and gold. So that's kind of what this truck is highlighted after. So we are running a 18 by nine um, with a negative 12 offset and I'm still running the factory uh, tires. So if you wanted to just go ahead and keep your factory tires, but switch out the wheels, these fit perfectly. There's no rubbing, nothing like that. And it gives you a pretty good stance as you can see, just a little bit of minor poke so it doesn't look too ridiculous. But we also have installed up here, or actually, let me go ahead. I have those, all four that are on the truck and then I got the spare tire that's back here as well. I think for all five of them, it was about $1,400, $1,400, dollars $1, I'll have the actual price like listed up here, but pretty inexpensive and they absolutely look great. Methods are some awesome wheels. So that's the first thing off the bat. Next, suspension. So I went with the Foots Motorsports um, perch collars. You can see right there, we got them in the front. So the perch collars are used on the front too. And then in the rear, this isn't necessary, but I went with a three quarter inch spacer that also sits up here. So you can kind of see, it gives it a nice little bit of a level look. I did notice when you just do the perch collars up front, it gives it kind of a little bit of rake, but I love the whole leveling, you know, look. So I think that's the whole point of a leveling kit, right? But I think for the fronts as well as the rears, it was a uh, $500. I didn't do that install myself. So I did spend about another $500 for installation as well as an alignment. You definitely need to have an alignment done when you mess with uh, the height and the suspension geometry of your truck. So figure thousand bucks said and done to throw ahead, go ahead and uh, throw a leveling kit on your truck. Next thing, although it's not a big, um, you know, mod or anything, I did window tints in South Florida and uh, I'm assuming in other really hot places in the country or around the world, you definitely want to go ahead and get some window tint. I tinted the front two windows to match the rear. So it's about a 15%. And then I also tinted my windshield. That is illegal to do, but uh, I went ahead and did it in South Florida. In my opinion, it's an absolute must, especially with a black truck. So I paid about $300 for all the tint did a um, 3M crystalline ceramic, uh, ceramic tint. So absolutely love that. Like I said, absolute must here in Florida. My truck was a base model, like I said earlier. So I did have to go ahead and get the bed um, spray lined. I went ahead and did the factory uh, Mopar bed liner. My dealership actually offers it in um, in house. So if your Ram dealership has a body shop, you can get the factory Mopar bed liner and it comes with a warranty and everything. That was about another $350. So I had that done. Let's see, keep walking around the truck. A quick inexpensive mod I recently did were these uh, painted door handles. These are actually covers. On the base model truck, you just get the plain plastic door handles. So I went ahead and picked these up for 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll have the links in the description like I mentioned earlier really cheap inexpensive way to give it kind of like that premium look in my opinion it looks absolutely great 
Uh, following with that, we went ahead and did the Mopar painted uh, mirror covers. These are really inexpensive as well, and they offer them in every factory paint color, and you can get them directly from Mopar. I believe they were only like $70, and for this install, you just have to remove um, this little uh, cover here, and then it just kind of pops off and is a direct replacement. I do have install videos for everything I'm covering here, so check out my Ram TRX playlist, and if you wanted to go ahead and install any of these yourselves, you can watch my little how-to, and you can totally tackle all of this yourself. Another thing I did install on the exterior of my truck, which is gonna be really hard to see right now, is I did some rock lights. So these are the Black Label Apollo Series rock lights. These things look absolutely epic at nighttime. I'll go ahead and throw some nighttime images on there. But what I did was I installed one in each wheel well, and then there's two on the side for eight total. And this thing looks like a spaceship at nighttime. Um, I believe those are like $400 for the eight rock lights. And I also went ahead and installed the LED wheel ring lights, as you can see right there. Really hard to see at daytime, I'm sorry. But those are from Oracle, and I believe those are $250 as well and that looks absolutely awesome at nighttime. So up next, let's walk around to the front. This was one of the first things I did on my TRX and that was switch out the skid plate up here for the black skid plate from the blackout package on the Ram Rebel. It's a direct replacement. They share the exact same skid plate. On the TRX, it's kind of like a um, dark kind of gunmetal color but I wanted an all black one. I do believe on some of like the special edition TRXs like the um, Ignition and I think the Sandblast even, you do get the black skid plate. I think even maybe the Lunar Edition you get a black skid plate as well. But considering my truck is all blacked out, I really wanted to go ahead and switch that out. I believe it's about $400 from Mopar. The install is an absolute nightmare. It's a pain in the ass, but once again, I have a full tutorial. You can go ahead and get that checked out. Um, also up here, as you can see, in the grill behind the grill i flush mounted some um baja designs-esque lights back there um these are really cheap they're really inexpensive but as you can see there's no moisture there's nothing in there these have been installed for over two years and they look absolutely great i think i spent about a hundred dollars on both of those lights and the rest of it was just my time with the install so honestly really not all that hard to do you see just like the baja designs lights they have the little amber backlighting so I think that looks great. You know, pretty inexpensive mod and you know, it kind of looks pretty cool. Since we're up here, let's cover uh, some of the next stuff. I absolutely love these modifications. These are carbon fiber skins, but they are actually 100% real carbon fiber that you can go ahead and install up on the truck. These right here, the big hood vents, um, these are from the company on eBay, uh, Jogon. They are awesome quality, awesome company to work with. And as you can see, they fit absolutely perfectly. And it's a carbon fiber skin. So honestly, install is super simple. So for this over here, as well as this side, as you can see, just a quick walkthrough, fits absolutely perfectly. They come in a matte and a gloss finish, also in forged carbon fiber. I believe they are about $500. Also have the matching intake um, duct up here. This was, I believe, $250. Sorry, I had an airplane flying over. I'm pretty close to an airport right now. But like I was saying, this piece right up here matches perfectly, fits perfectly, and it's about a $250 uh, part from the same supplier as well. We can continue this over onto this side. We also have the matching fender vents in carbon fiber as well. I believe these are like a $250 or $300 purchase as well from the same supplier. But they also have a package where you could get this piece, this piece, and this piece. And I believe it's about $1,000 for all of them. So if you're looking to uh, get that carbon fiber look without breaking the, pan, uh, you know, breaking the bank, you could totally get the skins. And for cheaper than just buying the direct replacements of these, which last time I checked, there was $1,300. You can get all of them in a skin. So continuing on to the rear, we also have the carbon fiber uh, Ram logo back here. That, this is from the exact same supplier as well. This is about $100 and it just installs right over the factory ones. It's a skin once again, so nothing direct replacement keeps the cost down. So again, another awesome product from Jogon. Like I said, 
link in the description for all of this. So that more or less covers like the major exterior mods. I did do a little bit of painting, like the um, the tow hooks I painted in bronze to match the wheels. I painted, painted the uh, rear upper and rear links in bronze as well. Also went ahead and added you know, some Hellcat badges in bronze up here. I know some people hate that, but don't really care what you think. And then up here also painted the front tow hooks in bronze as well, just for the whole vibe that I'm going for with the whole black and goldish bronze kind of feel. So I'm sweating my ass off right now. So let me go ahead and jump inside and we can go over some of the interior. Models. First thing you can see and something I absolutely love is this carbon fiber steering wheel. This was a custom spec wheel from Zen Carbon Fiber. Um, I went ahead and I did the matte finish with the carbon on the wheel, the perforated leather with the red stitching. I absolutely love this wheel. I do believe this wheel is about uh, 700 to $800. I can't you know, fully remember. The price will be listed up here exactly what I paid, but um, absolutely love this. Install was a little bit of a nightmare just due to the fact that you do have to pop out the um, airbag and that's an absolute nightmare. But once you get past that part, the rest of the install is really smooth sailing. And like I said, I absolutely love this. My truck didn't have the heating element, you know, to begin with, but if your truck does have the, you know, the heated wheel, you could totally get one spec to retain that. So I do think that's really nice and you can fully customize these. So if you wanted to go with Alcantara or a gloss carbon fiber or different color stitching, if you wanted orange to match like, in the, you know, any of your exterior colors, you can totally do that. Next over here, these two pieces are from my really good friends, MHF Auto Lighting. They have been a huge supporter of the channel, really good people, awesome people to work with, very professional, and their products honestly speak for themselves. This is their custom carbon fiber radio bezel, which is also a direct replacement. This is um, not, you know, this isn't skins or anything. You get this full piece right here. It is a modified factory piece, so you know it's gonna fit absolutely perfectly. And obviously I went with the whole matte carbon fiber since that's what I was going for the, in the interior. I went with matte carbon in the interior and gloss carbon for the exterior, but absolutely love it. This piece I believe is $650 and you might think that's expensive, but trust me guys, let me tell you, it is worth absolutely every penny. Down here from the same company, MHF, is a fully customized uh, carbon shift knob. So I went with the red stitching to match the steering wheel up top with the matte finish again as well. Again, these are fully customizable so you can choose Alcantara, gloss carbon, forged carbon, different colored stitching, um, Alcantara boot. Um, absolutely love this piece. This was a uh, $500. Again, a little bit expensive, but the quality speaks for itself. Now over here, we'll start on this end and we'll just work our way back to the driver's side. Um, a lot of these pieces now that I'm gonna be showing you are some skins and they are from the same manufacturer as everything on the exterior, Jogon. Uh, so we have over here, we got the little uh, door cards over here in a matte carbon. So we got them on the front. We got them on the rear over here. Sorry if you can't see that, but over here, over here, obviously on this side too and back there. I do believe these are um, 150, something like that, and they are just a skin, but again, the skin is all real carbon fiber, so it's not hydro dipped, it's nothing cheap. These are real deal carbon fiber pieces. So we got this from that supplier. Um, let's move over here. We got the little um, cup holder cover over here, again, in the matte carbon fiber. We got this piece back here, the little um, center console for the rear, so this is really nice as well. We have the ignition button over here and we also have this piece right over here. So more or less all of these pieces are stock pieces that you would get in the carbon fiber package. But like I said, if your truck doesn't come with that or you got a base model and it wasn't even an option, you can go ahead and get these skins pretty inexpensive and you can create your whole your own carbon fiber package. And I almost forgot we have this piece as well for the whole mold selector as well. So just a quick run through of everything you can see, it looks great. And if you're nervous about if, you know, the stock piece, uh, you know, carbon's not gonna match it, it all looks great because this piece right here is the factory upper glove box from Mopar. I believe this is about $1,000, so it 
is pretty expensive, but this is actually the factory piece. This is the exact same piece that you would get in that carbon fiber package. And as you can see, the carbon fiber between even MHF and Mopar, it looks great. And then from Mopar even to the Jogon, just a quick, you know, example right there, looks absolutely great. A few more things on the interior. We have this little uh, mount up here. I absolutely love this thing. This is great for mounting GoPros, any sort of other cameras or any accessories you might have. This is from Mid uh, Midwest TRX. I think it's like an $80 little mount up here. You can message them on Instagram and pick up one of these. I absolutely love this. Super simple to install and it looks great. And uh, next thing down here on the infotainment system, I have a screen protector and it's actually a matte screen protector. So in your truck, obviously when your screen's off, it looks really glossy. Uh, you get always tons of fingerprints and all there. So I decided to go with a matte screen protector. You know, it goes with the whole theme. I've had this on since the week I had the truck. This was probably one of the first things I did. It's from the OCD plug and I absolutely love it. Protects your screen. You don't get the fingerprints on there and all of that. So pick up one of those. Now coming down here, uh, we have the AI box light. This um, is a little, basically a little box that you can connect up through here. And if your truck doesn't have um, wireless CarPlay, once you plug this in, your truck will have wireless CarPlay and it'll also allow you to stream Netflix and YouTube onto the full into, uh, infotainment screen. That It might be illegal to watch that while you're driving, so I'm not gonna condone it, but I will say it does make long road trips a hell of a lot more enjoyable where you could go ahead and just, you know, stream your favorite show on there and pass the time. But that's all the interior kind of aesthetic kind of modifications. Um, we can go ahead and get into the performance stuff, but while we're in the truck, let me go ahead and cover the first sort of, you know, performance little modification. And that is this guy right down here. This is the EVC Ultimate 9 throttle controller. Um, I've used a few throttle controllers in the past. I've used the, I want to say it was the Sprint Booster. And personally, I, I wasn't all that impressed. But with the EVC, I got to say, this thing is absolutely awesome. If you're looking to basically eliminate full throttle lag, definitely pick up one of these. I believe they're like $250 to $300. You can get them in all different color faceplates. I got the red just because, you know, it matches the rest of the interior but I absolutely love this thing. It makes driving this thing an absolute blast. That more or less covers all the interior stuff. Now let's go ahead, pop the hood, and check out some of the fun things that you can do to your Ram performance-wise. All right, so if you know the Ram TRX, you know the heart of this beast is the Hellcat. So obviously you can do all the fun things to a TRX that you can do to any of the other Hellcats. And probably the first thing you notice in my engine bay is this big old intake right here from B Woody. I don't really want to hear the whole hot air intake things from all of you guys listening to me right now. If you don't like it, don't put it on your truck. I don't really care. All I'm going to say is I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite modification I've done to my truck. It basically just turns this thing into a screaming banshee. This thing will turn so many heads on the road. It makes it so much more enjoyable to drive this truck. The intake whine and the intake, their supercharger whine and the intake noise sounds amazing and makes this intake worth every single penny. You can go ahead and pick up one of these for I believe $550 from B Woody. If you've been in the Hellcat game for a while, you know B Woody. Um, they're probably the most popular intakes that you can get for a Hellcat. I absolutely love it. I went with the whole wrinkle black. It just kind of goes with the whole engine vibe up in here, but I'll go ahead and I'll give you a nice little uh, demonstration video right now with starting it up and some wines. So yeah, you guys hear for yourselves, this thing is rowdy. It's absolutely worth it in my opinion. Um, next over here, we have the JLT 3.0 oil separator, oil catch can. I always recommend 
to all Hemi owners, you definitely want an oil catch can on your truck or on your Hemi equipped vehicle because there is a lot of oil blowback on these engines and you just want to go ahead and throw, you know, throw one of these on there. It's a good little um, insurance policy to uh, keep that intake from, or keep that oil from soaking up into your intake and all of that and gunking up your engine. Install is super simple and you just want to go ahead and drain that thing every oil change. It's a nice little, uh, not, you know, a nice little peace of mind for your whole engine life, you know, whatever. But I would definitely recommend picking up one of those. So that more or less covers everything on the engine bay. Now let's go ahead and talk about my exhaust. So I'm still running the stock uh, cat back minus I did a mid muffler delete, but instead of going with a straight pipe, I went with the Carvin R type mufflers, as you can see right there. I love Carvin, a big fan of them. And this exhaust sounds absolutely great. It doesn't really give you any interior drone whatsoever. I know a lot of people find that hard to believe, but I've recommended this to a few other Ram uh, TRX owners and they'll tell you the same thing. It really makes the truck rowdy when you want it to be rowdy, but when it's just normal driving, it doesn't really sound all that ridiculous whatsoever. <laughs> guys so that was a quick rundown of all of my modifications on my ram trx i'm absolutely sweating my ass off right now so let's go ahead and run back to the garage and we'll do a full breakdown and a full list and a full price of everything that we did on the ram trx sorry it's really hot it's 102 degrees so yeah let's get back to the house all right everyone so we're back at the house now sorry i was absolutely dying outside filming this and my phone kept going into the heat mode so we just came back over here and we're gonna sit inside the truck in the AC while we do the quick uh, breakdown over here. So yeah, that was basically my entire build so far on my TRX. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, everything that I've gone ahead and done on the TRX so far has been very DIY friendly. So it's been basically like bolt-ons and just kind of stuff like that. And I have DIY videos for all of this stuff. So if you're a beginning, uh, modifying your truck or anything like that or you're not trying to break the bank this is probably uh, something that you can consider doing to your own truck um, I do plan on getting a little bit more involved once my warranty is up I really do have some plans for the whole power plan and really want to uh, switch up the suspension on this but it's going to be quite expensive and I do have another vehicle coming for the channel so I'm going to be weighing my options on that but yeah for now um, I think the TRX looks pretty sweet and let's go ahead and do a quick um, breakdown once again. So start with the exterior. We did the skid plate for 400, the carbon fiber pieces um, on the hood, like the, um, the duct as well as the hood vents and the fender vents, um, that was all $1,000. The tailgate badge, the carbon fiber one, another $1,000. The grill lights, or $100, sorry. The grill lights, $100. The uh, mirrors, the painted mirrors, um, 80 bucks for that. The door handles, 40 bucks. Both of those very inexpensive. Um, the rock lights, uh, those were $400. The wheel ring lights, those were $250. The method wheels, the 18 by nines, NV305s. For five of those, it was uh, 1,500 bucks. The leveling kit from Foots, uh, that was $500. The bed liner that I got done at the Ram dealership, $350, and the ceramic tint on the front two windows as well as the windshield, that was another $300. Um, on the interior, one thing I did forget to mention is I do have a black view uh, dash cam set up with an external battery. Um, I didn't mention that, but I do have that. Uh, sorry, that was $300. Um, the uh, carbon fiber steering wheel from Zen Carbon, that was uh, $750. 
the radio bezel from MHF Auto Lighting, the custom carbon one that was 650, the custom carbon shift knob that was another 500, the Mopar upper glove box in carbon fiber that is a thousand dollars if you buy that from the dealership. Um, the whole carbon fiber trim, like on the door cards, the ignition button, the mode selector, the glove box, and the rear uh, center console, cup holder surrounding, that was $450 for all of that. The AI box light, the streaming box, that was $100. The, um, let's see what else, oh, and the screen protector, that was another 100 bucks. So, you know, pretty basic stuff on the interior. And then last but not least, some of the performance things, they haven't really done all too much yet. The exhaust, the Carvin R mufflers, they are $100 each, you need two of them, so $200. Um, and then obviously you'll need to go ahead and get that installed and welded up. I'm not including any install prices because those are gonna vary. I think I paid $200 for install, so it was $400 said and done for my exhaust. But the intake, the B Woody intake, $550. Um, you can add a little bit of options from B Woody. Um, I don't have the upgraded green filter, so I think that was about another 100 bucks if you do decide to go down that route. Then I have the oil catch can, the JLT 3.0. That was $150. And then I also have the EVC uh, throttle controller down here, the Ultimate 9. So just I don't have an exact number. The exact number will be displayed up on the screen right now, but it's roughly about $9,000 in uh, modifications. Um, yep, $9,000 is not by any stretch of the imagination chump change. For me anyway, $9,000 is a lot of money, but I would go ahead and say that there is quite a few things you know done to my truck thus far. Um, I've saved a lot of money by doing a lot of the installs myself, but you know, if you're looking to get all of this done professionally, definitely add a few thousand dollars there for um, install as well. But yeah, guys, just wanted to go ahead, do a quick breakdown for you guys um, on my Ram TRX build thus far. A lot of plans, like I said, still for this truck. And um, yeah, I'm loving it. Almost three years in there and I don't regret anything. If you're on the fence about getting one of these, I recommend, uh, yeah, you just pull the trigger and uh, get yourself one of these trucks because they're a hell of a lot of fun but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this one quick video today guys my name's will this is the with me youtube channel please like i mentioned at the beginning of the video go ahead scroll down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button it really means the world to me and i'll see you guys in the next one later everybody